everyone doing? Come on in here. Yes, I am in the vehicle. I am on the road. So please forgive me if I am not looking down. Um, I'm out here in these mean streets. I'm just getting off work. And I am on my way to go cast my vote. It's Super Tuesday and I hope all of y'all have gotten out to vote or you're out there now in those long lines or you'll be getting off work to go out there so come on in come on in how you doing what you doing how's everybody doing thank you for coming on in if you come in and i don't acknowledge you please forgive me i'm not being rude i am just driving but it has been on my heart and my mind um, to pop on and just talk to to my people, to my friends, to my family, to my acquaintances, right? It's, it's been on my mind, so it's been on my heart, so I'm just being obedient. Hey, Nat, how are you? Please forgive me if I am not looking down, um, but I just wanted to share some things and... I wanted to talk about myself as a woman. I wanted to just discuss like this journey that I am on of self-discovery and just finding my way. And I'm finally, for the first time in my life, not being afraid of who I am, not being afraid of what it is that I can do. And um, putting those two things together of not being afraid of who I am as a woman and not being afraid of and boxed in um, with the talents that I have and the things that I am able to do that I have been doing since I was 14 years old. I have been, you know, working for other people since I was 14 years old. I'm known as being a hard worker and the go-to person and all those kinds of things, right? So I know when it comes to putting my hands on something, I know how to get it done and stuff like that. But what I have learned or been discovering in the past almost year is how to put my hands on something and work it and do it for myself. And let me tell you something about self-discovery. It is an extremely powerful thing, especially being a woman, especially being a woman of color. Hey, Christine, how are you, baby? It is an extremely empowering thing when you find yourself. And when you find yourself, that is something that nobody else in this world can take away from you. I have always been someone who like I could always make somebody laugh and you know cut up and all those kinds of things but largely I've always been the one sitting in the cut I've always considered myself to be an introvert like I stayed to myself I didn't think that like anybody wanted to hear from me I didn't think that you know what I had to say was important or anything like that but I'm finding that even if 50 people don't find what I have to say to be important. If one person does, that's all that matters. And in this past year, I have grown so much spiritually. I have grown so much um, emotionally just from being a woman. And let me tell you something. That's like an ego grabber. I thought I knew something. I thought I knew who I was. I thought I knew what I wanted in life. I thought I knew where I was going in life. And then one day, something very significant happened to me. Um, and I'm telling you a true story. I'm not making up anything. I'm not trying to sell you anything or anything like that. Basically, I'm here to tell you how God works. Sometimes when we are praying, whether we pray out loud, whether we pray silently or whatever, sometimes when we are praying to God and asking God to give us what we want, God has a funny way of showing up in inconspicuous ways and giving us what we need. And I'm going to try not to, y'all can hear it in my voice, I'm breaking and I hadn't planned on breaking, but uh, when God breaks you down and he shows you yourself, that's a hell of a thing that's staring back at you in the mirror. But sometimes when we're praying for things, 
he has a funny way of showing up and giving us what we need and not necessarily what we think we want. Um, he gives it to us and he, it reveals itself to us in ways that we are not cute enough, smart enough, hardworking or anything like that enough to know to have dreamt it up or drummed it up ourselves. He says, you're telling me what you want, but I got something better in store for you and this is how I'm going to give it to you. And when God gives you something, I grew up going to church. I grew up believing in God. I grew up praying and talking to people about God. But let me tell you something. I didn't grow up knowing him the way I know him now. Because when God puts a work in you, there's no denying it. When it shows up and manifests itself in your life, there's no denying it, right? You can't hide it. You can't run from it. You can't shake it. No matter what kind of false stories you have told yourself or no matter what kind of false stories other people have told you all of your life, when God shows up in your life, honey, he puts a word in you and a movement in you that you cannot shake, right? Let me just, you know, clean my face up. I don't want to be going in this polling place looking crazy. But let me tell you a little bit just about my story and how I feel. And you see me in these Facebook streets. And a lot of people, you see me now because of my business that I'm doing with paparazzi. And my purpose for being here is bigger than what my business is. My purpose for being here is to help people and to reach out to people. And... Y'all remember back in the day when they say each one, teach one. I'm go I am here to tell some people some things that somebody never told me. I'm here to open people's eyes up to things that people never opened my eyes up to, right? I had to find out things on my own or I had to, you know, sit and wonder and wait. But God showed me something. He placed something in my life for this to be the avenue and the vehicle for me to reach people and to do his work. And I would have never thought, I would have never thunk, I wasn't smart enough, I wasn't cute enough, I wasn't fine enough, I wasn't fly enough, I wasn't hard working enough to know that that thing that I had been asking God for, that that thing that I had been placed on the inside of me, that I had been pushing to the side and saying no that's not me and no I'm an introvert and no I'm too shy and no nobody wants to hear from me and no nobody and one day God made me sit up and say girl open up your mouth somebody can benefit from what you have to say and as a woman as a woman of color sometimes we have to fight so hard we have to grind we have to hustle we have to figure things out and you know it seems like we take two steps forward and we get knocked you know 15 steps backwards that's how it feels in life sometimes but i'm here to tell you sometimes all you got to do is quiet your mind open up your heart and believe in yourself believing in yourself is one of the strongest and the best things you can ever do for yourself is to believe in you. You are and I am bigger than what somebody else has ever told us we were. We're bigger and we're better than what we have told ourselves we are. Sometimes we got to learn how to get out of our own way. This past year has taught me so much about what getting out of your own way means. We tell, I was afraid to hit the live button to come on and talk to y'all. God didn't put the spirit of fear in us because I was talking myself out of, ain't nobody, don't nobody want to hear what you got to say. The same thing I've always been telling myself. They're going to click in and out of your video. They're going to keep it pushing. They're going to keep it. They, gon you, they think you're trying to sell them some $5 jewelry and all that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. But God kept saying, go talk. I kept hearing, go talk. 
you got something to say you got you know how you feel like that like you constipated and 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 you like you just feel like all oh, and and when you lay your head down and sleep at night something's bothering you and it's on your mind and it's nagging at you sometimes that's not your constipation sometimes that's not your conscience or anything like that sometimes that's God talking to you telling you I said move child move and that's what keeps tugging at me it keeps I've always seen myself being able to reach people talk to people and all those kinds of things I knew I had the ability to do it I knew it was on the inside of me to do it but who was I that I was gonna get up out of my own way and do it you could have asked me a year ago I wasn't gonna do it but I always saw I always had visions that I would be in front of people talking to people but that that human side of me knowing thinking that I knew who I was no I'm not like I'm not gonna do that I'm the person that's sitting in the cut and look at me now I don't know how many of y'all are on and and watching forgive me I'm, I'm, I'm driving I don't know how many of y'all are watching me but somebody is there somebody can benefit from what I have to say whether you benefit from it today whether you benefit from it tomorrow my message and my reason for being here is bigger than the business that I'm doing it's bigger than my five dollar jewelry I'm here to talk to you as a woman believe in yourself believe that you can be more and bigger than what you are believe that you are bigger than any paycheck that you go and earn on somebody else's job believe that if you learn how to work hard for somebody else you can also do the same thing for yourself but we've been so trained and we've been so conditioned to think that our way out of poverty our way out of and our life and how good we live is wholly dependent and connected on what kind of education we get, how successful and high we can move up on somebody else's job. And who told you that lie? Who sold you that thing? Who told you the best of what it is that you are and you can be is directly connected to what somebody else tell you you can be because you earned a degree and they say you have a bachelor's degree, you have a master's degree, you have a PhD and this is the level that you want. Who told you that that's all God got for you? Who told you that that's the, the highest level, the highest mark that he wants you to reach because somebody said, and who, because man ordained it so? No way, Jose. And no pun intended. Hey, Johnny, how are you? It's just, I had something to say, so I'm going to say it. I was convinced, right, that the, the, my life had reached its max capacity. I'm, I'm in this industry that I'm in. I work in the legal field like this. I'm bigger than that. Who am I to tell myself that that's all God got for me? No. I absolutely love what I do. I have built a career in the legal field for almost 28 years. I love what I do. But is what I'm doing going to get me to where I want to be? No. I believe in multiple streams of income. That is my revelation because I'm not going to get to where God wants me to be by simply sitting on somebody else's job and earning a paycheck from nine to five because I'm boxing myself in, but God wants me to be greater, right? I've, I've convinced myself and I've told myself these past years that this is the best and the most that I have to offer. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. I'm bigger than that. There is no ceiling, there is no cap on the blessings that God has in store for you. Whether you are a non-believer or not, if you're a non-believer, then I don't think you have any business, business listening to me. But I just wanted to come on and encourage and tell anyone who is willing to listen, you are bigger than and better than anybody has ever told you you were. You are bigger than and you are better than even how you have told yourself to be or that you are. If there is anything out there in this world, no matter what your talent is, stop sitting on it. 
whatever your dream may be, you go out there and you achieve it. You reach it. Don't let nobody, especially don't let that nobody or that somebody be you, tell you what you cannot do because it's a lie. It's a fallacy. Go out there and conquer this world and be all that you can be for real. Go show the ones that are coming behind you how to be brave. By you being brave. By you stepping outside of your comfort zone. I don't care what it is. Your dream, my dream, was not to sell paparazzi jewelry. My dream, I didn't even know anything about $5 accessories. Right? I didn't know anything about it. It landed in my lap the way that it did because that's the way our, the, the Lord ordained it to be. Whatever your paparazzi jewelry is, go out there and get it. You are not too old to do it. You're not too young to do it. You're not too female to do it. You're not too male to do it. You're not too fat to do it, too skinny to do it, too black to do it, too white to do it. Whatever it is, you can go out there and do it. Stop limiting yourself and stop allowing other people to limit you too. Unshackle your brain into thinking that your right now is your forever because it's not. Open up your heart and open up your mind one foot in front of the other. If there's something that you've been wanting to do, just do it. Ain't nobody stopping you but you, but do it. What is, if you, if you have a dream of doing something, you have a talent on the inside of you, what's the worst that life can tell you? No, not right now. Who cares? Who cares what family member, what friend, what, 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 whoever that you think would have your back and support you? Who cares? God got you. And you got you. Those people that are out there in the world that are movers and shakers, those people out there in the world that own these big businesses and they make all of this money and they got all of these people working up under them, they got one thing in common is they didn't quit. They put themselves out there and they didn't quit. They can all tell you it wasn't hard. I mean, it wasn't easy. Life is not easy. But sometimes you got to take a chance. You got to roll the dice and you got to take a chance on you because ain't nobody else going to come in the world in this world that's walking this earth going to take a chance on you the way you can. Dream big. Dream those scary dreams. Do those things that do those things that make you afraid. If you scared of it, that's that one thing you should be doing. If it causes you anxiety when you think about it, that's that one thing that you should be doing. That's the devil telling you not to do it. That's the devil in your, in your subconscious telling you, you ain't good enough. Ain't nobody going to listen to you. Ain't nobody going to want your product. Ain't nobody going to buy your food. Ain't nobody going to do this. That is the devil convincing you that what God has ordained for you is a lie. And we listen. How many years we going to listen to him? How many years are we going to let the enemy tell us we ain't good enough and we accept it? My right here and my right now is not the existence of my life. I'm on the move. I'm going somewhere. I'm headed in a direction that God has ordained me to go, right? But before I could even understand that, before I could even Except that I had to open up my mind, open up my heart, and I had to move out of my own way. Because I was praying for something. I was asking for something. But God knew that how I was asking for it and how I thought I was going to get it, that wasn't a plan that he had for me. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what your gift what your talent I don't know what your paparazzi is I don't know what it is but whatever it is go out there and get it don't be afraid don't be scared 
And if you are afraid, God didn't put the spirit of fear in us. But if you're a little anxious or you're a little whatever, every time before I go live, I get nervous. Like, I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. But I do it anyway. Do it scared. When you go on a first job interview or you go somewhere to a party or you go anywhere, you have those same little anxious feelings. You might be a little nervous when you get in a relationship with somebody. You might be a little nervous on the first day. You might be nervous the first time you kiss them and all that kind of stuff. You do it anyway. So whatever it is about your life that you feel like you want to go out there and do, and it ca- I'm telling you, that thing that causes you the most fret, the thing that you the most fearful of, and all those kinds of things, that ain't nothing but the enemy keeping you from what God has destined you to do. And we listen to it and we fall for it. Hey, hey, how all of, hey, all of y'all doing? How all of y'all doing? I'm driving. Stop letting the enemy win. It's time for you to take your mind back, your heart back, whatever talent you is that it is that God gave you God gave you the talent no matter he gave all of us gifts we just got to tap into them and use them oh sorry hey y'all thank you for the hearts it's you you're gonna be seeing more of me because I'm being obedient to what I am being told to do and called to do And yes, like y'all, a lot of y'all here, you support me and my business and all of those kinds of things. And I love you and I appreciate you for it. But don't be afraid because I'm living my dream. Don't be afraid because I stepped outside of my own comfort zone. I denied myself and I caught a hold to what God had for me. And I am putting my my best foot forward. I love what I do. I love my business. I sell the most fabulous $5 accessories there are out there. And this business is blowing up. And I am tapping into it. And I am getting everything out of it. So when you see me, you see me hold, I love it. I rock it and I wear it because it's fashionable, it's cute, and it's affordable. This is my dream. But I didn't know it was going to come through $5 accessories. I didn't know how it, this is how it was going to manifest itself. And I'm going to ride it until the wheels come off. Thank y'all for watching. I'm sorry if I got emotional. Sorry about shedding a little tear. But this is my story. And if I can leave you with anything, this is what my heart is telling you. Stop being afraid of you. Deny the enemy. Don't be afraid of the gift that God has given you, whatever that gift may be. One foot in front of the other, one day at a time, one prayer at a time. Go out there and get everything in this life that it has to offer you. Don't move in fear. If you're scared, do it anyway. If you're anxious, do it anyway. Do it anyway. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. You are not going to die. You're going to be all right because God got you. All he's waiting on you to do is to step out on faith. All he's doing is waiting on you to step out on faith so that when he sees you putting in your work, you stand back and watch him go to work. But you got to move. You can't keep sitting there. Because ain't nothing going to come to a sleeper but a dream. You can't keep dreaming about what you want. You got to go out there and live what you want. That's just my word to y'all. I love you. I appreciate you. I thank you for listening. I'm not being rude because I'm not looking at your comments or anything like that. Because I'm driving. I'm on my way to vote. If you ain't voted yet, you know, get up in there and get that thing done. But... Y'all go out there and live big. Go out there and live unafraid. Go out there and live your best life. Those aren't just words. Go out there and live your best life and stop being afraid. I love you.